Cottinger, seven and a half minutes. Thank you. Uh, well, Minister, I'm just wondering if the Cabinet has been watching reruns of Only Fools and Horses lately, because the uh, attempt today to sell dodgy goods at a discount is just unbelievably uh, reminiscent of Trotter's independent trading. I'm sure, Minister, you're well familiar with the programme. But in one particular episode, Minister, Del Boy convinces Rodney that they'll buy uh, lots of bottles, they'll put tap water from their own tap into it, and they'll market it as Peckham Spring. It was a, a really good episode, Minister, the Christmas one uh, in 1992. I'm sure you've all been watching it on your DVDs. Um, and what they do then is they look for unwitting plonkers, to use the Cockney phrase, wallies and dipsticks to buy these bottles of water. And they think things are going lovely jubbly and cushy, as Del Boy would say, until the whole scam falls apart. Now, I'm not sure whether the Taoiseach or the Taunishta is Rodney or Del Boy or which is which, but I tell you what I am sure, you won't find enough plonkers to buy your repackaged, discounted goods from the back of your tree-wheeled Reliant Regal, I think they're called. Because your discounted goods aren't wanted, and when the sale ends, every man and woman out there knows it's back to the original price. You want to get this in and then raise it up at some time in the future, like happened with the bin charges, which you continually point out to the opposition we failed in preventing. And look what happened when we failed. That's exactly what we're saying. Look what happened. What happened was the waivers went, the standing charges were introduced, the tags or the bags or whatever doubled in price in general. Now you talk about legislation that you're bringing in to stop this, uh, to stop any cap being lifted till 2019. What a joke. I mean, do, do you really think people are educated, rabble, uneducated rabble out there? You've no control over any future government until 2019. And the idea that you can order a government to hold a referendum, the only way you can guarantee a referendum will be held is to put something into the Constitution in the first place. But uh, you said you were listening. You said uh, you heard what people had to say. And as has been pointed out, I've been on a lot of protests. I haven't seen any banner with affordability. Haven't seen any banner looking for clarity. What people said was two things, abolish water charges and no way we won't pay. So you listened and you ignored. Now, full cost recovery, the, the shelter's back. Glad you're taking an interest. Full cost recovery is what is written in with Fianna Fáil and the Troika in the Memorandum of Agreement. So that is the overall aim uh, down the line. And I'm not sure how the paymasters and the Troika or the EU will take to what you've done today, because you haven't enough food to feed the hungry beast of Irish water. But it must be very embarrassing for you over there, going on all week about raw sewage. I've never heard the expression so much as I've heard it in here for the last uh, two weeks. But yet your conservation argument is gone out the window, completely gone, fell off the back of Rodney's truck. Are you going to store the water meters along with the e-voting machines? Because what's the point in anyone accepting a water meter when it won't be needed for four years? <laughs> Why would you even do that? The question now is, will this trickery work? Will the discounted goods be bought? And I firmly believe that the answer is no, because the protests will continue. People are emboldened now. People have seen their own power. Something you hoped would never happen, hasn't happened for a number of years, has happened now. People are confident. And they've seen that the, the days of Tina, there is no alternative, are well over. What we used to hear every morning on our radios. Now, a number of ministers have trumped true here today. And they've talked about anger not being a good emotion for people to be working off. Uh, Minister Donoghue made a, a very unfunny joke about the AAA must be all about anger. But uh, can I tell you something? Anger is one of the most powerful and energetic emotions that there is, and it's the motivator for most of the change that has happened in society throughout the decades, centuries, and millennia. Um, sometimes the anger is suppressed, 
Sometimes it bubbles over, as in recent times. And your attempts, and the attempts of the media, to denigrate those who are angry as a mob are highly insulting. I'm going to quote James Connolly. I'm sure you'll be dusting him down from the books for your 1916 celebrations. Mm. James Connolly said, all hail then to the mob, the incarnation of progress. And do you know why he said it? Because the hierarchy, the people at the top, never did anything to bring progress in. It was always the mob, as they were depicted by the likes of yourself, the elite. There is not in history a record of any movement for abolishing torture, preventing war, establishing popular suffrage, or shortening the hours of labour led by the hierarchy. I'm sure that's one quote you'll be suppressing for the centenary celebrations. My final point is, where do we go from here? For the ordinary people who are out there wondering. Non-payment of these bills remains the most powerful weapon we have to get rid of the water charges, to finish them off for once and for all. And the penalties that you've introduced today won't cow the masses out there. We're three bills now away from a general election. And you've said today that after a full year of non-payment plus three months, that's 15 months, so in the month of March 2016, you'll move then to impose penalties of 60 euro or 30 euro on people. I'm sure they're quaking out there. That's the month that there'll either be a general election if you lost, don't disappear from there before that. And do you not think that this is going to be the biggest issue in a general election? Why would anyone in their right mind pay this pathetic uh, bill that you've brought in today when they can lobby and demand that any party going into any future government gets rid of that and repeals it and gets it out and abolishes the water charges? Because I guarantee you that that is exactly the way people will see it. And your attempts to calm things down and get things off the hook on December 10th, there will be a huge demonstration, I predict, out here. People are talking about taking days off work. And I would also invite other people to take part in the We Won't Pay protest outside Irish Waters headquarters on Saturday week in Talbot Street Thank you very much, at Stephanie. 2 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Stephanie.